What makes me passionate about brewing is the process. It's how you go from A to B just to get you there. It's, it's incredible. That's, that to me fascinates me, all process. There's a very famous picture of me that's around that has me as a baby sitting on my dad's knee and him giving me a beer. Beer has been in my blood for over 53 years. I'd been doing IT for over 30 years. Uh, my parents had passed away. I felt like I needed a change in my life. When you're in the IT world, people usually come to you because they have a problem and you're, you have to do a fix and repair. Here it's an entirely different environment. It's fun because people come in and they want beer. They want, they have that expectation. They want an experience. They're, they're coming in here happy to begin with and you're just making them happier. I remember my first, my first craft beer when I was in university and what I really enjoyed about it, it wasn't a mild taste, it had a very distinct robust flavour. It was stronger but it also had character, it had life to it and it was very enjoyable. And then after that, wherever I went, I always sought out the local craft beer to try. So now we wait for about another five more degrees on the first tank and then we can start adding the malts and moving forward from there how you can take just a, a base set of ingredients, make one variation like a yeast, and have two totally unique beers. And the third element is the social aspect. Watching people, when you pre present them with something that you've made and that, you've, that you're passionate about and they enjoy it, that, that's the reward right there. That's watching the expression on people's face. There's a picture of me as a baby sitting on my dad's knee uh, have, and him giving me a beer. As much as that might sound like child abuse, I have an allergy to peanuts, so they were worried about a malt deficiency. So back in the 1960s, um, there was actually a prescription given for that. 